Hello world, I'm Rich, and this is Rich's World Beer Tour. Another gorgeous night outside. Um, unbelievable. It's one of those nights, and I want to try a new beer. Haven't had this one before. It's uh, Old Embalmer 13 Barley Wine Ale from Widmer Brothers out in Portland. That's what you're looking for, Old Embalmer 13. I think I've got some 13s and some 12s down in the in the cellar, and uh, boy, I've never had one of these little things to remove the wax. Jeez, that is nasty. Um, never had one before. I know I've got them in the cellar. I figure a good barley wine, um, she's going to sell her well. So I thought I'd try this. It is. Couple cars going by, but otherwise, uh, I mean, a bunch of birds outside, so it's gorgeous. It's gonna pour on this thing. Nice little American barley wine, their 2013 edition. Look at that, little thin head, nice golden coppery color. This is 10.2% ABV. So uh, I think that's why we're not getting a lot of head. There's some booziness to this one. Um, yeah, nice orangey, I don't know, rusty orange, some hints of red in there. Otherwise she is just giving up some bubbles, but they're not hanging up on the top. Nice little, uh, some alcohol hanging to the edge there. Let's get a nose. Ooh, that's how I like them, malty. Really malty sweet. There's some citrus in there, a little orange. Some caramel, kind of that malty caramely sweetness. And I think this is just their, this is just a barley wine, a once a year. Um, this is not a barrel aged uh, barley wine. Caramely, malty, there's that citrus note in there that's kind of interesting. It does say that it uses the, uh, well, I should have just read everything. Um, you know me, I'm going to read here, got to get those glasses on. Using the X431 hops. So I don't know what an X431 hop is. Something for me to learn, I guess. Uh, if I find out, I'll uh, put some notes down below. Let's give it a try. Cheers, world. There is a citrus note to that. There's some orange. There is that malty, malty sweetness that I like. Just a nice smelling, a nice tasting malty beverage. That citrus is in there and that's really interesting. I'm sure that's the hops coming through. Some caramel. A little vanilla. It does almost taste like it's been barrel aged. It's got a very a drier finish. Um, not as it's not overly sweet. I've had some barley wines, and I kind of like things on the sweet side, but this is not overly sweet. Um, yeah, that hoppy citrus. There's a pininess to it, even. And it ends with that, um, a little drier, piney, um, citrusy finish. Yeah, very, very sweet start, very piney, citrusy finish. Um, it's, it's boozy. This one I've had obviously 13. I think this came out like a November, December time frame. So we're looking at a half a year of aging already on it. Um, it's it's still pretty boozy. I'm feeling the warmth, but I'm just tasting the uh, feeling the the alcohol burn. Um, there is 
a fair amount of carbonation. It's not as thick as as I thought it was going to be. That color lends itself to you think it's a, a honey something. Let me give one more sip here. Yeah, a very nice, a very nice American barley wine. Um, this is going to be a nice sipper for the evening on a gorgeous night. Uh, nice chalice full of uh, of a of nice barley wine. Nice sip. Um, this is nice. I'm going to give it an eight out of ten. Real nice beer. Um, I'd buy it again. I think I've got the twelve and the thirteen uh, in the cellar. If I can get a 14 next year, um, it'd be fun to try a vertical and just see how this thing ages. Um, really nice. Anyways, uh, it's the uh, Widmer Brothers out of Portland, Oregon. It's their Old Embalmer 13 Barley Wine Ale. That's what you're looking for, Widmer. That's what you're looking for when you uh, head to your store, if you can find it or trade for it. Um, I'd grab one. If you're a Barley Wine fan, I think you'd like it. Um, Thanks for sharing a beer with me, world. Have a great evening. Cheers.